There's a haze that circles around our most important moments. And I say haze because often the things that will uh, be most meaningful in our lives or that will best position us for future transformation or success, they don't accurately depict the value that they ultimately provide. In fact, a lot of the time we get the opposite impression. The answer is deceptively masked as the problem. The thing we are most inclined to run away from. It's often unclear to us that the pain we're experiencing will become the purpose. The loss will become the strength. We can't always see that losing the job will become our reason to find ourselves and the work that will be most meaningful. We don't always understand that losing someone that was a big part of our lives will ultimately create a little space that will bring about connection with others who will lift us up and make us better. We aren't always aware that falling short is incredibly powerful because it's what most often prompts us to look in the mirror and ask that magical question, how can I be better? Again, we see it in a million different ways, different contexts. The solutions masquerade as problems, or as has been famously put, the way often presents itself as the obstacle. Which means we have to operate with a sense of awareness and understanding that often eludes us. Sometimes the reality is that it hurts to let go. But if it's not right for you, it hurts to hold on as well. The difference is when you do find the strength to let go, you simultaneously create space for the things that will make your life better. And I've noticed, you know, as I've navigated this crazy place well into my 30s, that the discomfort I've experienced in the past, yet rarely uh, utilizes my future as its benchmark, right? When I'm uncomfortable, it's because something has gone awry in the now. This moment hurts. In this moment, I feel less than. In this moment, I feel lost. In this moment, I am X, Y, or Z. It's all generally immediate, emotive responses to what's happening which is why I advocate so strongly for pausing, pulling back, taking a breath, and assessing the whole picture in totality. See, I've made decisions in my life that have set me back a year, right? That destroyed me emotionally, totally altered my plans. And I look back on some of those decisions now with all the pain they brought, and I think, you know, was there another way? Did I make the right move? Did I need to endure all that? And I'm not going to pretend, you know, I know how some parallel universe would have unfolded if I acted differently. But as I reflect back, I still think that I made the right choice. I don't see another way. Sometimes there are no easy decisions. Sometimes life is about choosing the least bad option. I've talked about having to step back in order to leap forward or stepping sideways in order to ultimately advance. Sometimes the thing we need just looks like discomfort, the sheep in wolves clothing, where you have to seek out monsters in order to destroy the ones that live inside of you. The reason, one, I think this is so important and two, I'm so passionate about sharing it with others is because, again, our instincts drive us away from the things we need most. That's just how it is. Humans are more uh, emotional than we are rational. And there have been plenty of times where, you know, just being reminded, you know, Eddie, I get that this is challenging, but where do you most want to go? Eddie, you're playing defensive which I'm sure minimizes problems now, but will never propel you forward with your career. 
Eddie, you're dragging your feet and calling it perfectionism. Could it in fact be fear? Right? I've had a lot of these little, uh, and sometimes not so little, epiphanies over the course of the last decade. You know, when people ask me about speaking, which being that I do it for a living would make sense, right? Tips or insights, whatever it is, I'm being completely sincere when I say that I wish I had some formula I could propose, right? That would make you go from zero to 60 in three months. But the truth is the biggest bang for your buck is stepping right into the terror. The thing you're most inclined to run from.